Bag fuel, baby. Like, but how do you circumvent this shit? Because you know my shit went viral when I talked about you circumventing from where you was from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You wasn't necessarily rapping from the beginning, and please correct me if I'm wrong. You was doing videos. Video director. You started rapping, right? And you was on your own. People didn't believe in you. I I, I do believe. I saw you with the inbox and fucking Rockefeller yes. recording your own I, 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 rec I, 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 I implement what these kids are doing now. They don't know mm. that I'm the reason why I, I, why I, uh, why they're able to record inside their house on these computer and mics and these home setups and things like that. Like, interesting. I invented that whole inbox rig wholeheartedly. Like nobody was doing that at the time. I didn't have the knowledge nor the support to what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to call uh, the studio in the book bag. I wanted to do a deal with, with Apple at that time. Yo, close that studio door for me. I wanted to do a deal with Apple at the time, but really? little old me didn't know who to go speak to on Apple and shit like that. And I know that. I was one of I was the one to bring this forward to fruition inside of the hip hop culture because Cam's engineer Carlisle at the time we were just when Pro Tools kind of was was kicking and first started kicking off a few years and he was like yo since all this shit is on computer why can't we just take this shit on the road and Carlisle was like well technically you can rock and roll artists kind of do this thing with a thing called an inbox if you go get an inbox and the computer and the mic here take a listen and go get all the stuff from guitar center i want to get all the stuff from guitar center he showed me how to uh, engineer i've been in there for so many months with cam doing his album and showing me how to engineer then that's how that whole thing i started taking it on the road and shit like that i started actually uh engineering cam's um albums again an engineering check through me wow. learning how to do that shit and then um i was getting fucking checks did you get before you started getting <laughs> rap checks you got video checks you got fucking. You, I got management. You, you was I, management, got, management I, got man, I got management checks. Mm -hmm. I got video checks. I got consultant checks from Def Jam, from Kevin Lyles. Um, I end up getting a diplomat check from Cam for the rap shit. Um, I was making a lot of money in between the lines. I had to figure out how to get this bag. Like we from Harlem, and niggas was looking good. I knew I wasn't rapping at the time. Or I didn't have plans on rapping. That wasn't my focus because there was so much money around me. But started looking at all the money that came in. That was good. Yo, let me get a, give me a little bit. Give me a little bit, please. Give me a little bit. Yo, funny man. Yo, funny man. <laughs> it's authentic you look like, right here on back. You look like a black suit. You look like a black superhero right now. You, <laughs> yo, yo, Snapping. this nigga, this nigga look. This nigga look like a black, tall, mighty man with a baggy sweatsuit. Fuck out of here with baggy tights. Where your cape at, nigga? Don't come over here. Do not come over here, nigga. Listen, Fuck <laughs> out of here. Get out of here, yo, bro. Get out of here, bro. I'm doing an interview, bro. You see, you want me start heating you up? You want me start heating you up? Yeah, I know you work at every bodega. Uh, see, uh, you see, you starting, right? Ain't, ain't, you starting, right? Ain't, 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 you starting, right? He got a sale You starting, right? He's selling the old tank tops he used to wear. You know who this nigga day. is? This nigga, this like nigga is the TSA nigga that's always upset when you pull up. Like, what's up, fam? Nah, you can't TSA. skip the line. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> For yo, get out of here. Bye, <laughs> man. Bye, <laughs> man. Thank you. Y'all never seen a tie-dye denim. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. You getting checks everywhere. Right. One of the one of the biggest injustice you don't get enough credit for, in my opinion, is your fearlessness when it comes to being an organic A and R. The courage it took, what you did with Stack Max. The courage it also took for you to jump on summer in Miami with Trey Songs, day and night with Kid Cudi. I'm sitting. Here, I'm like, this is a New York nigga. He's swerving and merging. Where does that come from? Um. Just trying, to, just, just trying to stay, stay relevant, stay mm. in the mix of things. You know what I mean? Like this is music. Like you dig? Like you gotta, you shit. You gotta keep it moving. You gotta put in as much work as possible. Like you know what I mean? Like, but me just being a lover, a lover of music. Like I, down south, start popping. Dip said we had this thing with like fusing our music with down south because that shit was sounding yeah. so good. Like the beats. Yeah, me myself being a lover of the west coast. That's where you get the certified gangster. And I had mm. gave people that whole. West Coast feeling like it's just like you just I just love music and I love to love to see people get on and shit like that you know what I mean and I think people who see us walking around with the sunglasses and dressing with the jewelry and I think that they don't see the talent behind what Zinky <laughs> <laughs> this is this, this nigga is crazy is it? Man, so can we man. also talk about y'all setting trends on how rappers had to dress um, come on let's get, you set the trends 
Yeah. We said, um, let's not. Come on, Jones. Oh, Seriously. man. Come on. Niggas was dressing different between, before y'all came in with the jeans, the belt buckles. Y'all had to get in the gym to wear that white tee. But he got his credit for the translate, I feel. I mean, you always get your credit for the translate. People see what you do and they try to take it to you know, the next level. That's like years later. Now we share, I mean, shit, we changed the face of how niggas dress for the whole hip hop culture. It was, Period. It was either Kanye, you had a little bit of uh -huh. back package that his whole style, how he was doing, or you had the Jim Jones kit. And when I say change it, I'm not saying, I mean, from all the clothing brands to all the designers to every single bit of jeans, shirts, Sweaters, mm. everything at the time had the Jim Jones look or the Kanye look. Hip hop shapes fashion, mm -hmm. you heard? And that's what that did. And from then on, is jeans got slimmer, they got slimmer, they got, but it was all birthed from how we changed the game. Even right now, when you see these kids rocking chrome hearts, Chrissy brought me that when I first met her, 02, 03, and shit like that. Like, I was rocking that in my balling videos and shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's. Like it's just everything is repeating itself. What was you thinking itself. when you watching everybody do this shit, but you not, but they, but they don't even know where where it come from. It didn't make you feel no 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 type of way watching this shit and being like, yo, these niggas is doing all of this shit and not even realizing where this shit coming from. I always tell people, I'm not too far on the credit. I'm more like mm. debit. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> Straight swipe. <laughs> yeah, give me some cash, man. I ain't really you dig so. But I do believe that people know the whole history and this culture of how fashion has changed, whether they want to give it to me or whether they don't and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't here for that. First of all, I wasn't worried about changing how the game looked. I just wanted to make sure that I look fly at all times. Mm. My lady wants to make sure that I look even fly than you niggas outside and shit like that. And mm. obviously work. You heard? They said the game, you ain't popping until these niggas won't be like you, until these bitches won't yeah. fuck you. And that was the whole motherfucking manuscript I was trying to follow at the time and shit like that. I mean, it's still the same thing it's now, but nice, that's yeah. what it was all about. And the difference between how we came up and what's going on now, everybody seems to want to fit in. And the object was to always stand out. It's easy to be easy, easier to be noticed if you stand out as opposed to fitting in. And that's what a lot of these kids right now are doing, as you can see from the fashion, everybody's wearing the same thing. You go mm -hmm. in the club, four or five rappers got on the same clothes and shit like that, and they hype about it and shit like that. Yeah, I got it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand that. We, we always wanted to give it, take a different twist on fashion, and that's why it worked. You heard? But you one of the few people that actually embraced the young niggas, and you embraced the street. You got a lot of records with young niggas in the street. You actually come out and you do the videos. You house niggas. You guide niggas. I love my Why young the hell niggas, you man. Do that though. I love my young niggas. I really, I really, I really from the projects. I really came up from the streets of New York City. If people do not know, you dig? I spent early days in the Bronx, later days in Harlem, where I learned how to hustle and everything else that. The streets taught me and, and shit like that. So I know being young with your back against the wall, not having too many options and shit like that. I know it could be hard and shit like that. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, bro. A motherfucking, um, yeah, so I was one of them young niggas, you heard? So as I look at all these young niggas coming up and shit like that, it's like the least I could do is just try to give back or, you know what I mean? come back and show them something as long as they looking at me, they at least looking in the right direction. Cause I was once dumb and I figured out how to make something from nothing and shit like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Did Nike or any sneaker company like ever approach y'all doing like a special dip set sneaker, uh, a gym version, a cam version, a freaky Zeke version, a Jewel's version? of all the stylish trends y'all was doing. Nah, we never, I, I've never got the opportunity. I would love to have an opportunity with Nike to do a dope ass sneaker, some fresh air ones or something like Surprise. that. You know what I mean? Yo, where did the weatherman shit come Ooh. from during Corona? Um, Cause that was some difference. That was Miami off, when, the, off the wall. He said Miami? Shit. It started in Miami when it was a, it was a hurricane down there and shit like that. A hurricane Irma, some shit like that. I had, did the weather report out there for the hurricane on, on the terrace and that shit ended up going viral. And a lot of people start hitting me, Nori, everybody like, yo, that shit could be something, that shit could be something. So just making jokes of the weather and shit like that, I kept kind of hitting it here and there on my Instagram and people was really going for it. Like it was getting millions of hits, like damn. And then um, 
were you surprised by the cross marketing that came from that shit? Did you start getting some real, real, real paper from that shit, or was that just something to keep you fresh and out there, or just some bread? Oh shit! Well, at, well, at Revo, we like we like six or going on seventh season. Um, so I, I don't know if I'm the number one show at Revo, okay. but for my seasons that I was there, I was the only show that was getting advertising dollars, and mm -hmm. I get a percentage of that advertising dollar. So. I, I I was you heard? I think you got the eyes. So you got I the was, back end because you got it because he got a good lawyer and he knows the business now.